guys, so today we're going to be looking at 64-bit uh, operating systems versus 32 operating bit systems. Uh, so there's disadvantages and advantages to both. Most operating systems uh, allow you to either choose 64-bit or 32-bit uh, addition. Um, so we're just going to go through the benefits and limitations today. So the benefits of 64-bit operating system are you can have more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. So currently with 32-bit uh, operating systems, you can only have up to 4 gigabytes of RAM installed and the operating system will only recognize about 3.2 gigabytes of it. So now, with a 64-bit operating system, you can have up to about 5 terabytes of RAM compared to the current 4 gigabytes. So it's a huge increase and it means you can just have so much more RAM. Uh, you have faster performance with 64-bit native applications. So applications that are designed for 64-bit a lot faster than applications that are 32-bit. Um, so, yep. And also, 64-bit operating systems are backwards compatible with most 32-bit operating systems uh, applications. Sorry. Um, however, there is a disadvantage to this. We will find out soon. 64-bit uh, operating systems it's future-proof. So, you know, as as we go into the future, most applications will become 64-bit native only. And then, um, then you won't have to upgrade later. So if you're going through installing a new operating system now, it'd be better to do it now than do it all later and have to get rid of all your, like reinstall the whole operating system because you can't just upgrade to 64 bit. You have to do a fresh install, and it's more secure. So 64 bit operating systems they use uh, different way ways of handling data, uh, and so it's more secure. Disadvantages is not backwards compatible with some software, which is mostly antivirus softwares and legacy hardware drivers, such as the webcam up here, the iToy up here. So, like, old hardware, old printers might not work if that uh, vendor hasn't designed a driver for it, but most new hardwares and even some old hardware will work. Whoa. Do you think so? One sec. It's marginally slower that with 32 applications, 32 bit applications. Sometimes you'll find a speed increase, but mostly if you backwards compatible, if you run backwards, if it's backwards compatible with 32 bit applications, you run a 32 bit application with a 64 bit operating system, you'll notice that there's some um, speed decreases compared with just a 64 bit operating system, um, or just a 32 bit operating system running 32 bit applications. Um, my note, uh, like, there's not many applications that are 64-bit native at the moment. Uh, there's a few that I've listed in the next page, but um, like the main ones are but all your like little programs that like utilities and stuff. They might not be 64-bit based. Hopefully, more prog more new programs now are becoming 64-bit uh, uh, applications. However, um, minority of them are at the moment. The processor might not be compatible, although most made in the last three years are. So if you have an old Pentium 4 processor from ages ago, or a PowerPC, you might, it might not be um, compatible with 64-bit processor. So here's some native applications that are written in 64-bit. Adobe CS5, the whole collection, uh, Photoshop, Premiere, After Effects, um, Illustrator, Fireworks, anything like that. All, um, they're all 64-bit, but they also some most of them have 32-bit equivalent, except for, yep. Uh, Internet Explorer 9, so the beta of Internet Explorer 9 has an option to choose 64-bit, which could increase your the speed of your internet browsing. Uh, iTunes, both for Windows and Mac, although most of the Mac operating system is 64-bit. Such as iPhoto, iMovie, etc. GarageBand. Microsoft Office he's, has a 64-bit um, version, also 32-bit. Uh, this is from 2007 and 2010, both have a 64-bit version if you would like. If you just install it, it'll do it anyway. Um, McAfee, AVG, Norton, 360, Avast and Trend all have 64-bit uh, versions of their antivirus software. So, and there's probably more to that, I'm just naming a few popular ones. Operating systems that support, that are 64-bit. Windows XP, uh, well Windows XP was released uh, early 2000s, but then 2005 Microsoft released a 64-bit version of Windows XP, 
So it wasn't available on launch, but it is available now if you still want to buy Windows XP. Windows Vista supported both 32 bit and 64 bit, and so does Windows 7, which is what I'm running now Windows 7 64 bit. Mac OS X 10.5, 10.6, 10.7 all have features of 64 bit. The actual operating system is 64 bit, but the applications in it uh, are slowly becoming more 64 bit. There are still some applications in um, Snow Leopard that aren't 64 bit. However, with, with uh, Lion, Mac OS X Lion, it should um, add more 64 bit applications. And Ubuntu 10 has 64 bit support. So, thanks for watching this technologetic video. Hopefully, you learned some stuff about 64 uh, bit and 32 bit um, applications and operating systems. Um, thanks for watching.